back to the channel. <laughs> Guys, today is the fourth day of Mo Tuesdays. And man, I, I gotta tell you, all of us were on bated breath to figure out what was going on. You know, with the announcement of Little People, yeah, it was kind of, you know, uh, you know, a, a, an interesting way for parents to actually connect with their kids if they're Master Universe fans. So that in itself was a bit of a fun uh, announcement last week. But the week before that was, of course, too bad, which excited a lot of Master Universe collectors because we were hoping that more of the new Eternia figures would be announced during out the rest of the Mo Tuesday announcements. Today was the one where a lot of us were hoping and dreaming and, you know, really anticipating a whole bunch of stuff. And because, uh, you know, we know for a fact that Cobra Khan, uh, you know, the, four, the 40th anniversary four pack for uh, the, the He-Man uh, action figures uh, celebrating He-Man throughout the decades and of course Eternia as a playset would be announced somewhere within these uh, these announcements a lot of us were hoping and waiting and probably anticipating that Eternia might be next we're also kind of scared because we just finished the funding for the His, His, the His Tank uh, HasLab project and I gotta tell you a lot of people lost some money last night it was absolutely crazy but it was a lot of fun at the same time so today the announcement ticked down to the last few seconds for Mo Tuesday. I gotta tell you, what was actually announced today was pretty interesting. It, uh, you know, wasn't what I expected, but I really, really did enjoy it. And you know what? I would love to take a deep dive and show you guys exactly what happened today. But before I get started, guys, please, if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to the channel. I post up to two episodes a week, and I hope you guys enjoy. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you guys will always know when new episodes are posted. Well, guys, I gotta tell you, this is gonna be a lot of fun to take a look and uh, take a deep dive into this. And hopefully, we'll be able to uh, examine a little bit more as to what was behind the scenes on this particular announcement. All right, guys, let's have a look. I was thinking, you know what, we're going to get some cool announcement. You know, last week we got the little people, which was kind of neat. You know, parents can share with their kids. It was going to be, you know, kind of cool to be able to, to have that experience. Um, and, but the week before that was the announcement of Too Bad, and that really got a lot of people excited. So I, much along with everybody else, was hoping for a major announcement, possibly a new action figure for the Masterverse, probably, uh, possibly a new action figure for the Origins line. And today, we waited on bated breath to find out exactly what was going on. As a matter of fact, over on Instagram, they were doing the countdown to Mo Tuesdays. Tap the countdown to make sure you don't miss it. And the countdown continued. Today, it said that Mo Tuesdays is here. And we were all really super excited about what the possibility was. Many people in my live stream last night were speculating that <laughs> the announcement for Eternia playset, and a lot of us were scared about that. And why were we scared? Well, we were scared because last night just completed funding the His Tank project. And oh my god, everybody basically lost uh, about $375 US last night. It was absolutely insane. Depending on where you are, you, the, 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 the shipping as well, and if you got free shipping. But that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money to, in one month, have to do another round of such an, uh, a, you know, crazy expensive collectible. And I think the people were really, really, um, you know, apprehensive about that. So we waited on bated breath to find out exactly what was going to be announced today. The Master Universe Masters uh, official Instagram page, the countdown did continue and we, we waited on bated breath. Mo Tuesday is here. And what did we see? The announcement finally came through. And this is actually what we saw. Take a look, guys. Yes, guys. Thanks to Stunt Puppets Animation, we got this incredible uh, stop-motion animation of He-Man being punched by sucker punched by Skeletor <laughs> and then running away <laughs> because it didn't do anything to He-Man at all <laughs> as you can see here on the official uh, Masters Facebook page Stump Up This Animation says, Ooh, Skeletor's in trouble now. Stay tuned for more of this encounter. Shout out to Stunt Puppets for the animation. Hashtag Mo240th. And you know what? There have been a lot of reactions to this. People are very, very happy. Uh, Ju Justin here says, Woohoo, it's out. Uh, Joe Stratman says, Love these animations. Uh, Chad Rob says, Happy to see him with the axe. The sword is only useful for deflecting lasers. <laughs> And Chad Robs, me too, man. Love the axe. Absolutely cool. People are really excited about this animation. But I do have to say, um, for anybody who's, uh, you know, been waiting for this to happen, um, you know, for, 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 for this whole uh, scenario, 
it really is kind of a, a you know, a, a little bit of a, 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 maybe not a letdown, but it's not as exciting as, a, you know, a brand new figure release. I think a brand new figure release would have been something really, really cool. And, you know, a new announcement of a, of a figure would have been something which would really galvanize people and get them excited. But the day is still young. It's only 1.50 p.m. In the, after, in, in the afternoon. Who knows? By the end of the day, we might see another announcement. You just you just never know. Um, having said that, there are a couple of things I want to talk about uh, for this particular, um, you know, video. It's, it's it, And I'm not sure, uh, you know, that... There are some tells here. There are some tells, and I'm 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 concerned. Uh, in in some ways, I am a little bit concerned, uh, but in in other ways, I'm really really excited. So let's let's take a deeper dive into this really quickly and and uh, and take a look at what's happening. The first thing we see here in this video is of course He Man, and if we if we look closely, we and this is very important that we that we take a look at this. This is not the 40th anniversary um, San Diego Comic Con edition. This is the production version of the Master Universe He Man action figure, and we can tell that because. The shield is made of plastic. We can easily tell that. This, the, the axe is made of plastic. His boots do not have any flocking on them. That's very, very important. And when he stands up, we can actually see, we can definitely tell this is plastic. If You can actually see the translucency in the material itself, uh, especially uh, with the axe. We can actually see some, some, uh, some translucency there. Uh, but here's the thing that really gets me. As soon as Skeletor portals in, it's not immediately apparent what's going on, but here's the problem. This is not the um, this is not the 40th anniversary uh, SDCC Skeletor. No, this is uh, this is Masterverse Skeletor. This is the original release of Masterverse Skeletor. We can actually see that um, his face again. That's that's Skeletor's face from the Masterverse. His straps are from the Masterverse Skeletor. His Havoc staff, his Havoc staff is the Masterverse Skeletor uh, release. Um, his the, the buck is exactly Havoc, uh, the, the, the Master vs. Skeletor. And yeah, even his feet, you know, we can definitely tell that this is not uh, the, the 40th anniversary uh, Skeletor. And what does this mean? What 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 is that? Why are these two being paired together? Uh, because, you know, we do have a 40th anniversary Skeletor. I mean, it's 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 been released. We have seen it. We have seen reviews. I, I, I did an unboxing myself. So this is this is where... This is where I'm kind of concerned now. I am actually very, very concerned. Does this mean we are not going to see the 40th anniversary Skeletor from San Diego Comic-Con as a general release? Um, and that's what worries me the most on, on this particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, video. Um, this is definitely the 40th anniversary He-Man, which has already been, which is being solicited on Big Bad Toy Store, on Entertainment Earth, on multiple fan channels. Uh, this is definitely, this is definitely that He-Man. And uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's uh he's not he's not amused by by Skeletor's uh, little quib there, um but yeah this is this is kind of concerning this is this is a bit of a concern for anyone who was hoping to uh, to get a general release of the Skeletor from um you know the the San Diego Comic Con uh, edition because that to me is one of the a definitive Skeletor uh, you know having him in hand being able to being able to uh, um, you know playing around play around with him for a little bit. He really is, to me, the, the definitive Skeletor, and um, it would be a shame. It would be a shame if if if, uh, if if fans could not get their hands on this particular Skeletor. Um, now, having said that, we do have a pretty a pretty good Skeletor uh, in in the Viking Skeletor. Um, you know, those, uh, the sorry, the Barbarian Skeletor. Barbarian Skeletor is pretty good. His his buck is actually pretty accurate, um, and and everything the like. But I think a lot of people are really are really hoping for you know a, for a definitive 40th anniversary um, Skeletor to be released uh, in the Masterverse line, and I think that a lot of people are really hoping for uh, you know the other characters, the for, even if it's just the first wave of initial releases from the Master Universe, you know, from 1982. I think a lot of people are hoping for Man at Arms. A lot of people are hoping for Beast Man. You know, a lot of people are hoping for those first four releases. Uh, you know, to be to be announced, and I think a lot of people are hoping for for Tila, you know, a 40th anniversary Tila. A lot of people are hoping for a 40th anniversary uh, Trapjaw. You know, I think a lot of people are hoping for that. So, this this unfortunately with this video with with this video proper, um, I'm a little concerned. I really am. I'm very very concerned that that them not them not showcasing a Skeletor, right, is is uh, is perhaps an indication. That we are not going to get a 40th anniversary Skeletor, which would really, really suck. 
That really was an amazing animation. You know, huge shout out to uh, Stunt Puppets. They did an amazing job, don't you think, guys? But I am very, very concerned because, uh, you know, uh, this is the Skeletor which came with the 40th anniversary um, pack. And honestly, he looks amazing. He really does. And this was only available at San Diego Comic Con. Seriously, he looks absolutely, absolutely, absolutely incredible. And I am kind of concerned that uh, what we saw in the animation is not this guy. This guy was not in that animation. And that tells me that, you know, we might not be getting this guy. And that scares me. Uh, because I would love for everybody who wants a 40th anniversary Skeletor to be able to get him in a general release. He doesn't have to have these die cast, uh, you know, weapons. But, you know, as we saw, the Skeletor that was actually showcased in that animation was the Revelation Skeletor. And that, in and of itself, is a hit and miss for a lot of different people. We already have a really, really cool Skeletor coming up with, uh, or, or already out with uh, Barbarian Skeletor. But honestly, this guy, he's got the new chest, he's got the new build. He looks freaking amazing. Guys, let's cross our fingers that one of these announcements coming up soon will be the announcement for Skeletor from the 40th anniversary San Diego Comic-Con edition. Let's really hope. Cross our fingers for that. But guys, what are your thoughts? Did you enjoy this uh, brand new animation from uh, Stunt Puppets? They, <laughs> it really is amazing. And if the, if, if the adventure continues, I really hope to see what happens after this one sucker punch so that He-Man might actually go and find out what else is in store and maybe what other action figures are going to be behind that portal. I think this is going to be absolutely amazing. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a like. It really does help me out. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe. And as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. <laughs> we have the power, everybody. We have the power. Geek proud. I want to give a huge shout out to all my Patreon and channel member supporters. Thank you so much, everybody. It's thanks to your support that this channel continues to grow. And I really could not have done this without you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for your support, guys. It really means a lot and really helps the channel to keep growing.